what's up everybody in this video I'm gonna tell four things that I learned this year so if I could go back in time to the beginning of the year this is what I would tell myself and first up is the zucchini cage I built this out of wood covered it with regular window screening mainly to block out a vine borer moth that I've had problems with in the past. As a bonus effect, it also blocked all the other types of insects and animals like deer. One thing I learned pretty quick is you have to put a weight to weigh down. There's a little chain attached to it because I had the wind blow this thing and it tumbled across the yard, so I used that to keep it in place. And I found these containers worked really good. I didn't have to water the plants as much as I thought I would have to. They stayed well hydrated. I yielded maybe 10 zucchinis. Here it is October 2nd and I'm still getting zucchinis. Here's one right here. And second up is this stuff called Actinovate. And I used it for the tomatoes. I bought a small two ounce packet for about $30. It's a natural microbe that's supposed to help eliminate stuff like blight. It's a fungicide. And this year I've had a bumper crop. I think this is the best year from tomatoes. And it might have been that Actinovate. So I will definitely be buying that again next year. It yielded about four or five watering treatments. And I did it early in the springtime, beginning of summer. And it seems to have lasted because I'm still, the tomatoes are still alive. I've had a little bit of blight, but it hasn't been as bad as years previous. And third up is animal control. I've learned you have to be proactive. And I installed this netting fence before the deer discovered the tomatoes and I didn't have any problems with deer this year so it's important to set this up early in the year I also installed this motion detecting sprinkler it's called a scarecrow and I mounted it right here and it prevented the deer from getting up into the garden and I had a problem with one groundhog and by putting these boards along the fence line right at ground level that works great for groundhogs they come up and they just walk away and this year I had a major problem with raccoons I had three raccoons that I had to trap and release so if I have that same problem next year, what I'm going to do is install an electric fence. You put one wire here and then another wire about right here. And as the raccoon climbs up, it'll touch those two wires and it'll have an electric charge that you plug into an outlet. And it'll give it a little shock. Altogether, I think that costs like $200 or $250. But we'll see what happens next year if I, hopefully I won't have to install it. And this is a little update. I've had a few people recommend the stuff called Thule fabric. And what they say is the raccoons don't like the feeling on their paws and it deters them.
And what I plan to do is kind of wrap it all along the fencing. So if a raccoon tries to get up here, hopefully this will do the trick, we'll see. And since I had a big problem with raccoons climbing up the grapevines, I'll cut little sections, wrap it on all the stems, and I'll also wrap it around the posts. Hopefully that'll stop the raccoons from getting access. And this little fencing section helped, but I did have one possum that actually climbed up the railings of the stairwell, and then it walked up and climbed up into the tomato plant. And I ended up having to use a have a heart trap, and I trapped and released it. And this owl decoy seems to work. I've noticed less birds pecking at the tomatoes. And I made some of these cabbage moth decoy things. And it does seem like they work. I put them in here along the kale and the collards. And I haven't seen as many as of those cabbage moths. Next up is steak the kale. I had a problem in the spring where wind damaged the stems of the kale plants and I planted some new kale up here on the deck. And just recently a windstorm came through and it damaged more kale. What happens is the wind flops these things around and it damages them right at the base near the ground. So from now on, I'm gonna stake all the kale plants with a little stick and some string. And if I had done this from the start, I wouldn't have had this damage on these few kale plants. So that's my tip of the day.